Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for August 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to make a big old shout out to the Leos out there. Happy, happy birthday to you. We are in Leo season right now. And I want to make a big old shout out to the August Virgos out there. Yeah, happy birthday to you guys as well. So I am back to my old format. Um, I have one central intro that I have recorded for everybody that everybody's going to see the same old thing and then we'll get into the reading yes so you will find a timestamp in the comments section that's pinned at the very top that will take you to the beginning of the actual reading so if you're watching multiple videos and you don't want to watch the intro over and over again you can use that timestamp I do recommend that you watch it at least once just so that you can get the general information may clear up some questions you may have yeah so I would love it if you guys would connect with me on social media. You can find the links to my, my social media accounts, both Instagram and Facebook, in the description box below. But Instagram is at divine underscore conversations. And Facebook is facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. Yes, which is very similar to my actual email address. All right. These are a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below, including the readings that I offer. So just read through that and then hit me up. Let me know which reading you would like. If you can't decide if, or if you have trouble, go ahead and email me anyway and describe the situation a little bit and I will absolutely help you choose. Yeah. If you would like to get a, a personal reading, um, I do recommend that you reach out either via email or at the very least through Instagram. Um, I don't recommend that you send me a message on Facebook because I do not always get those right away. I, I've noticed that I, oh, first of all, I don't get a notification from Facebook saying that I have um, messages on that page. Um, so often when I find them, it's like, maybe sometimes days later. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so for those of you that kind of missed out or got lost or something, I apologize for that. But Facebook isn't the best way to reach out to me. You can reach out on Instagram. I do get those notifications and I do see that. I, I do check that more often. But ultimately, I'm really just going to send you to email. All right. So you might as well just, you know, cut the extra steps and just email me. Okay. Because that's really where I handle all of the personal readings. Keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So yes, this is a message coming through that's dated for August of 2019, but it does not have to resonate now. We could be talking about a situation that happened months prior, or we could talk about something that could be coming on months in advance. I do recommend that maybe you check in maybe at the, at the end of the month if you are catching this towards the beginning of the month to see if it resonates for you. But either way, or to see how it resonates for you, but either way, whenever you watch the video and it resonates at that time, then that is the message for you at that time, regardless of the date. Also, keep in mind that for the cross watchers out there, I am speaking directly to the zodiac sign in question, okay? But if you're watching the reading and it's resonating for you, then take that message. Okay. So what I may be saying for the Zodiac sign in question, let's say Aries or Leo, and you don't have that placement or you're not looking at it because you have Aries or Leo in your chart. And yet what I'm saying is resonating for you. Then maybe that message is in fact for the cross watcher and not the actual Zodiac sign in question. Again, it's a general reading. Take it as it resonates, but also please do not try to fit something into your life or into the, the situation that doesn't fit already. Like if you're watching and you're saying to yourself, Hmm, he's saying this, but that really doesn't resonate with my situation. Then let it go. Don't take it. Okay. Cause that means it's just not a message for you again general reading yeah okay um i guess that's it so with that said why don't we get started to, with the reading yeah <laughs> hey there pisces welcome to your reading for august 2019 thank you so much for tuning in okay so let's just dive right into it first two things i want to talk about before we get into your pre-shuffle energy one for some reason i keep wanting to say april okay as i'm channeling the energies for you um, so for some of you, this could be a situation that started in April, um, or a, a number of situations that were kicked off in April, um, for you, F um, take that as it resonates. The second thing I want to talk about is that as soon as I was, I started channeling your energy, I started seeing purple 
and then yellow. Now, I associate purple with your sign anyway. This is just my, <clears throat> me specifically, because as a Piscean, you are the very last of the Zodiac, okay? So you're very, you have the ability or the, the, or the potential to be very, very wise because as a soul that has moved on through all, all of the, the, the signs of the Zodiac and now you're at Pisces, you know, there's a lot of wisdom that can be gained and acquired throughout that process of moving through the Zodiac, okay? Um, but also for some of you, there's a, a strong sense of divine wisdom that's coming in, but also illumination with the yellow, okay? So now let's get into the overall, and not the overall, the, the, the pre-shuffle energies. I was pre-shuffling and this pile of cards just kind of fell out all together face down, okay? So everything came out at, at the same time. You have the Nine of Swords with the Ace of Swords, okay? This feels like... Um, Someone came to some sort of realization, either you or maybe the, another person that's connected to you, okay? This could be vice versa, take it as it resonates, either it's you or the cross watcher. Maybe there are two, two Piscean energies involved here, regardless of the placement, sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatnot, whatever, all right? Um, but someone came to a realization uh, either through some sort of anxiety or maybe the realization is giving them anxiety, giving you or them some sort of anxiety. Um, we have, uh, ooh, okay, we have a narcissistic and, a, and, and or an emotionally manipulative energy with this King of Cups, uh, Magician, and the Knight of Swords, all right? We have someone that just kind of rushed in or is rushing in or is very harsh with their communication. Um, it, it, and uh, with the, the Knight of Swords, with the with the three of these actually, the Magician being a manipulative energy to begin with because the, the Magician is uh, the master of all the elements and can manipulate those elements to get what they want. Now, this probably could have come out in reverse, but I don't have any of my cards in reverse in this deck, okay? I don't read reversals when I'm doing it this way. So I'm just picking up a manipulative energy, all right? Uh, I'm hearing someone that's coming in just riding in roughshod in some circumstances. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm hearing they know what they want and they go after it, but also there's a fine line between going after what you want in terms of, you know, just being assertive or you know what I mean? But there's also, there's a, there's, a, there's a fine line between that and manipulating people into getting what you want, all right? So maybe this, either this is you, Pisces, or maybe this is someone that you're connected with. Could be a Scorpio with the King of Cups here. Ultimately, though, you have the ending of a cycle. You have a lesson being learned with the Ten of Pentacles, a closing out of a lesson. And then with the High Priestess underneath the deck here, this is could be your energy. This is definitely could be seen as you. Um, this is that purple energy, the wisdom that I was picking up on, the, the divine understanding, the divine wisdom all coming through. It's also your intuition, okay? You need to trust your intuition. So whatever this situation was, maybe you were getting anxious about it and you didn't know what was going on until you finally figured out or you finally realized it with the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords and the Knight of Swords could also um, speak to some sort of communication that needs to be had some sort of conversation that needs to be had um, and that could be giving you anxiety because maybe you don't like confrontation maybe you don't want to break somebody's heart maybe you don't want to reject somebody i don't know it definitely does feel like there is for some of you there's some sort of conversation that needs to happen that someone is maybe kind of avoiding a little bit okay all right pisces the good thing about all of that, though, is the lesson is being learned with that Ten of Pentacles energy that came out, okay? For sure. Like, the, clo the, 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 the cycle is closing out. I do see the Ten of Pentacles as lessons learned because we do come to Earth um, in these incarnations uh, to learn, uh, learn certain lessons. And I do see the Ten of Pentacles as the completion of that lesson. And then you move back to the Ace of Pentacles where you get a new lesson. Yeah? All right, I'm going to give this one shuffle, Pisces, and then we're going to get to channeling for your month of August. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my seat here. <laughs> okay, here we go.
All right, Pisces. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisceans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces, I'm going to give this five shuffles, but I do want to say that purple energy is so, so strong. Ooh, two of cups, king of cups. Yeah, for some of you, we could be dealing, you could be talking about romance, okay? That king of cups was there again with the two of cups. All right, that was one. Here's two from a Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019 and beyond. Best messages, please, spirit. There's three from a Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Four. It's interesting, Pisces, because I, I normally use some sort of symbol like the zodiac, the official zodiac symbol, or maybe like an illustration of the, the, the you know, the zodiac sign, in my head as a channeling point. But what is coming through the most is this purple color. This is four. I think that's four. Oh no. I've gone and lost count, but that's okay. We're going to call this five from a Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019 and beyond. Best messages, please, spirit. Boop. All right, Pisces. Overall, ooh, okay. Overall energy is the Knight of Swords. Okay. There is a conversation that needs to be had, Pisces. And some of you are afraid of it. But others of you, you're dealing with someone that um, is, is moving extremely quickly. Maybe too quickly for you. Maybe this is you, Pisces, or maybe this is someone else that you're connected with. But the first thing that I got with this Knight of Swords energy is communication needs to be had. We need to talk about something, boo boo. <laughs> okay. Ooh, do you like that big old hole in my shirt? Isn't that fabulous? This is one of my favorite shirts. I love this shirt. Okay, anyway, you've got the two of pentacles. And to me, this is like some sort of peacekeeping energy, juggling maybe. Um, I do kind of feel like you're avoiding something. Some of you are. Maybe you have been avoiding something. But also, uh, the Two of Pentacles energy is striking a balance. And maybe there's a conversation that needs to be had in order for a balance to be stricken. Okay? Underneath, yes. There we go. There's the Ace of Swords again, Pisces. So for some of you, you know what it is you need to say or what you want to talk about. For others of you, there's some sort of clarity that's coming forward towards you. There's some sort of truth, honesty that's about to be conveyed or you need to convey this. Underneath the Ace of Swords is the Six of Pentacles. Reciprocity, balance, the balance between give and take. Um, it's definitely some sort of balance that is needing to be achieved in a relationship for you, Pisces, okay? For some of you, you're just giving too much and not receiving enough in turn. And that could be why you might need to have this somewhat aggressive conversation with somebody. Okay. All right, Pisces. Let's see what else we have for you here. First set, second, I'm sorry, first half, second half of your reading. You can look at it as that. Or you can look at it as the first half and second half of your month. But keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So take it as it resonates, all right? Just take it how it works best for you. First set of surrounding energies in the first set of your first, um, first half of your reading here, Pisces, you have 
the lovers. Okay, yeah, we're talking about a love situation for some of you, for a lot of you. Um, also, there is a choice that needs to be made. Maybe you're dealing with a, a Gemini. Also, you could have Gemini with this Knight of Swords energy. Yep, we're talking about a love situation here. And there's also a choice. Now, part of this choice that's here for you, Pisces, or maybe for the person that you're connecting with, is a choice, a choice over vice or a choice of vice over virtue. What is actually best for you, the individual in question? And this goes out for mostly for the individual 1111, for the individual that needs to make, to speak some sort of truth. Be honest about something. What do you truly want, Pisces? What really works for you? Rather than giving in to what everyone else wants for you or what someone else wants or some, how someone else wants to do something, how do you want to do something? How do you want to approach a situation? How do you want to approach a relationship? If it doesn't work for you, currently what's going on, Pisces, you need to communicate with about, about it. And that is quite obvious <laughs> with the Ace of Swords and the, the Knight of Swords, okay? Don't stay silent just to keep the peace, Pisces. All right? The lovers is coupled with the sun. Beautiful. Okay. So maybe things aren't going to be as, aren't as bad as you know, you want or, or as, as you might think. I wanted to say as bad as you want them to be. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you think you communicating in this way is going to turn out to be horrible. Maybe not. But also the sun is talking about illumination, guys. What is truly right for you, Pisces? There is a deeper level of understanding about yourself, about commitment, about what truly works for you that's coming through here. And that's also the yellow energy that I was seeing coupled with the purple. Okay? Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you got. Whoa! You went from the sun to the moon. Now this is you. Okay? But this is another card about intuition. I really feel like you need to trust yourself. You need to trust your intuition. You need to trust your feelings. You need to trust your emotions. You need to trust that instinctual side of yourself that's saying, whoa, something's not right. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> okay? And I feel like whatever is coming to your attention intuitively, Pisces, is helping illuminate what is right and what is not for you in a relationship. The moon is coupled with the magician. You see, from the place of your intuition is where you can really manifest. Trust your intuition, Pisces. Trust it because it's helping you to flesh out what it is you truly want out of a relationship or in general, what it is you truly want out of life. You do also have a representation of the balance between masculine and feminine energy. You have it both between the sun and the moon, and you have it in the lovers, okay? Um, so I really do feel like if Pisces, you are the feminine here, you are, Actually, it really doesn't matter. It could go either way, whether you're the feminine or the masculine. But the, 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 the biggest thing that I'm getting here is that you're, you, the feminine is manifesting from their place of inner knowing, from their place of intuition and deeper understanding about life and the universe is what I'm hearing. And that's illuminating what is the right choice for them in a masculine energy. Okay. Beautiful. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you have, woo, 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 the devil. And this is the polar opposite, the antithesis to the lovers, okay? Where one is, is blessed by the divine and the angels, the other is, we'll say, cursed or bound by the devil. And your challenge here is to unbind yourself. There are some of you out there that are in these in some sort of relationship with someone in which you really don't want to be there. You're stuck. You're bound. You're trapped. It's a codependent relationship. 
and you need to set yourself free. That is your challenge here. And maybe this, uh, I want to say situationship really, but maybe this situation is exactly what you needed to unbind yourself, to learn what it is to say, no, I don't want that. I want to go in this direction instead. And if your partner doesn't agree with you, then there's nothing wrong with that. You two can go your separate ways and still have love for each other, still have respect for each other, but, and still be happy on your own individually. That's a specific message for somebody. The devil is coupled with temperance. I told you, this, this situation, whatever it is for you, whether it's a long-standing situation or it's something brand new that just showed up out of the blue, maybe it's something that was catalyzed in back in August, uh, not August, April. But ultimately, this is helping you become more balanced, more whole, more integrated. Okay? Just keep in mind, you got to be patient with yourself. Because especially if this is something that kicked off in April or maybe even before April, it's been a long, pro argu long and arduous process, I've been, I heard. All right? Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you have. There's that Ten of Pentacles again. Lessons learned. Cycles completed. Drama averted. Moving on to the next. I love it. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with the Four of Wands. Excellent. Excellent, Pisces, because yes, this does speak to foundation between home, family, love life, whatnot, whatever. But what I'm getting here is whatever cycle you are closing out, and it does have to do with some sort of narcissistic energy for some of you, because I just heard narcissist or narcissistic. What this is, okay, so some of you are closing out some sort of narcissistic conditioning, narcissistic cleansing, whether it's your own narcissistic tendencies or the approval of the tendencies in someone else, the acceptance of those tendencies in someone else, you are setting yourself up for a much brighter future. You have a greater foundation within yourself to now move forward and expand your horizons. These were the, I, that was literally a direct channel. Like it was coming to me right before the words were coming out of my mouth, okay? So take that as it resonates. But that's beautiful, you guys. That is so beautiful. Okay. Your second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you've got the Eight of Cups walking away. Either you're walking away from someone or someone is walking away from you or this has already happened. All right? Eight of Cups is coupled with the Three of Wands on their path. Walking away from something in order to make space for what they desire to come through, what they've been working for to come through. Because I do see the Three of Wands as, after the Two of Wands, you've made your choice, and now with the Three of Wands, you're doing the work to generate the momentum, to keep the situation going, to honor that choice that you've made, and now are also waiting, while also waiting for the return on your investment. But here, I do see someone, I just heard judgment. Someone made a judgment call and said, this is not right for me, and walked away in order to open themselves up for what is a truer expression of what they're looking for or what they're manifesting, what they wish to experience. Literally open, clearing space for what they've chosen to come in. Okay, this could be you, Pisces, or it could be the other person. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces, for the second half of your reading here, you got, oh, the Five of Cups, okay. All right. Heartbreak, loss, regret, remorse, guilt, shame, mourning. Okay. But keep in mind, Pisces, not all is lost because you still got that two of cups back there. All right. Five of cups is coupled with the nine of swords. Oh, Pisces. Pisces, don't let yourself fall into this despair. Don't give up. All right? Whether you're the person that's walking away or whether someone has walked away from you, don't give up. This is not the end all be all. This is not, there are plenty of, <laughs> there are plenty of fish in the sea. I mean, this is not the end. All is not lost. You still have 
those two of cups. I just heard specifically marriage is still possible. Maybe not with this specific person, maybe yes, but if they've completely walked away from you, okay, obviously not with that person, but that doesn't mean that all of your options have dried out. This, the five of cups with the nine of swords, is someone falling so deep into despair that they completely... close themselves off from any sort of second chances or whatnot to come through. You have to believe in yourself, Pisces, and you can't allow your fears and anxieties to keep you down. You have to rise above them, all right? So I'm not saying to not like grieve. If you need to grieve, then grieve. Obviously, feel your emotions, but don't slip into that, that, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Hold on, hold on. Oh, well, don't slip into a cavern. Don't slip into a sinkhole, all right? I just heard, allow yourself to come up for air. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Pisces, you have the Queen of Cups balancing your emotions. Now, this could be you. Yeah, well, it is you. Also could be a Cancerian energy, maybe a Scorpio. But what I'm getting with this, Pisces, is yes, especially with the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords here, getting your emotions in check, balancing them out. Facing them, though, Pisces, because you see how the Queen of Cups ha is, is staring right into that cup there? Face your emotions. Don't hide away from them. Don't push them away. Don't drown your sorrows. Face them feel them so that you can let go of this five of cups energy and move on move forward queen of cups is coupled with the hierophant this is the third time the hierophant has come out in this space that's crazy is it the third i know it's the second at least because i just did the aquarius energy uh, the aquarius reading and it was in the same exact position Some of you are really, someone is really concerned about marriage here and is kind of falling deep into despair of, am I ever going to get married? Well, of course you are, honey. But there are some things that need to be cleared up first. Or maybe you just haven't found the right partner yet. Again, all is not lost. Please do not despair. Ah, okay, but then also there's another message coming through with the Hierophant and the Queen of Cups of changing the way you approach things. Changing the way you approach relationships, these the types of situations potentially. Because something's not working for someone. So instead of keeping with the dogma, instead of keeping with the conventional way of doing things, maybe you need to shake it up a little bit. Maybe you need to try something new. Maybe you need to try something radically different. I mean, the Queen of Cups is cardinal energy. Cardinal energies are trailblazers. They have no problem doing something brand new in a different way. So maybe you need to break free from the conventionalism. I am very much getting a, and this came through in the Aquarius reading too, I'm very much getting a definition of insanity type situation where you're doing things the same way over and over again, expecting a different result. Mm, okay, all right, Pisces. Closing message or potential outcome here in the second half of your reading, you got the Page of Pentacles starting anew, a fresh chapter, starting a new, um, yeah, starting a new cycle, starting a new chapter. I do see that some of you may actually be taking a brand new approach to something. And it's going to be a little shaky. It's going to be a little rocky. You're going to have to, you know, find your footing, but you'll get it. You'll get there. The Page of Pentacles is a dedicated, um, compassionate, uh, loyal committed energy they're also very much committed to learning all right with the page trying new things seeing what it feels like to explore a little all right page of pentacles is coupled with the two of wands here you go yep starting over making a decision to go in a different direction or to try something new 
or to try a different method. I see you having made that choice maybe sometime throughout the month or maybe by the end of the month or something like that. Once you come to terms, my, see, my attention was just drawn to the Ace of Swords and I was thinking about the Five of Cups. Once you come to terms with why something like this may have happened over and over again for some of you, okay? Once you've figured it out, once you've had that epiphany, that aha moment, Eureka, I get it now. Excellent. Do something about it. <laughs> All right, Pisces, let's get into your Oracle message here for the month of August 2019. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of August and beyond. Last shuffle here, Pisces. All right, here we go. Best message, please, Spirit, for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August. Closing out this reading, August 2019, Oracle Guidance. Okay. Card number 23, Defend to the End, the Worthwhile. Interesting. Okay. Alrighty, kid. Alrighty, kids. Ooh. Here we go. Oh. Let's, I'll, I'll look at that in a second. Okay. Beneath the illusions, pretty as they may seem, you know what is real. Beneath the lies, sweet though they may sound, you know what is worthwhile. All that is genuinely and truly essential for the heart to throb with life is, worth, is worthwhile. Anything that dulls it or suffocates its vibrant aliveness must be questioned, challenged, and more than likely, Cast aside, for the heart is our key to living an authentic life. Where, what, I'm sorry, what is there once that is, what is there once that is compromised? Without its foundation of truth, we are to be forever lost in confusion, doubt, and despair. You are a sacred warrior, a defender of the heart. You have cried genuine tears of your own grief and also the grief of the world. You have raged at injustice and oppression in your own life and in the world. You have felt the need to protect the presence of love for whilst it is exceptionally powerful, it can too easily be smothered under the lies and fear. The sacred warrior must not heed the dangerous voices that say, oh, stop being so sensitive. Stop making such a big deal out of things. Love is the biggest deal there is. What else is worth being so sensitive about? The sacred warrior is vigilant that the presence of love is not chipped away by fear, criticism, doubt, or untruths. Even if others find, it, find the unflinching honesty of your feelings difficult to handle, even if those feelings are expressed with gentleness and compassion, the sacred warrior honors the task of being more faithful to love than to anything else. This includes the fear of loss. Actually, it includes the fear of anything at all. This oracle brings guidance to honor even the smallest steps in your path of the sacred warrior. They are no less important than the more noticeable or dramatic actions on the path. One single misstep can begin a landslide of great devastation. Being vigilant with what is meaningful and what is truthful, even in the smallest and seemingly most insignificant ways, strengthens the sacred warrior and prevents darkness from gaining a stronghold from the inside. That darkness will be intelligent and sneaky. It will tell you that it doesn't matter, that this one time you can forget what you promised, that you are just one person and that you can't make a difference anyway. That darkness will lure you into sleepy ambivalence and dull your light if you allow it to. The sacred warrior within will fight with love and honor to be true to what has meaning and never, ever allow it to be cast aside, even if it seems easier in the moment. The sacred warrior finds joy and humor in life to prevent the seriousness of the task from stifling the heart that just wants to live and be free. That joy brings strength to the warrior and an expanded, relaxed awareness that can sense the presence of fear, whether it is masked as anger, hate, or doubt, and immediately respond to it with fierce compassion. The sacred warrior will not allow fear to gain a stronghold within the heart. 
this oracle has special guidance for you. You are being asked to stay strong and stand your ground. This might be in a big emotional journey that feels like the fight of your life. It may be in a matter that does not seem to hold much importance. Perhaps, for example, you are contemplating an idea that you feel could be something, but those around you declare it is nothing, much, too impractical, too little, or too much. However, what is happening, or soon will, hap will be happening, is worthwhile. So hold tight. Ask for help through the healing process below, which we won't get into. Stay true to the sacred warrior of love that you are and defend to the end all that is worthwhile. Okay, that's it, that's it, okay, excellent. So, there you have it, Pisces. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you would like a look at your, into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. But with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of September. Yeah, take care, Mwah! bye.